So, Kareem, Elon Musk is thinking about buying Twitter for $43 billion. What are your thoughts on that? Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Twitter has nothing to do with me. Fuck everyone's opinion. Ever since they, ever since Twitter got rid of Donald Trump, fuck Twitter. I'll take that. This is the Portuguese Godfather here at Long Island MMA to talk about Elon Musk buying Twitter. This is Johnny in the gym. Ah, uh, Elon Musk, the king of Tesla, SpaceX, and Twitter? That's right. Elon Musk is seeking to purchase the entirety of Twitter for just around $43 billion over his concern on the platform's speech policies. Is this a good thing? I asked my boys, but I'd love to hear what you think, so leave a comment down below with your thoughts on the subject. So Adam, Elon Musk is trying to buy Twitter for $43 billion. How do you feel about that? Do it! Elon Musk the goat. Dude's the man. Team Elon. Tesla. Let's fucking go. Yeah, I want a Tesla. Real bad. When I blow up, I'm gonna get the brand new, whatever year it is, brand new, most souped up Tesla Roadster. In Carolina Blue. Because that's my favorite color, you heard? You heard? It's funny that you asked this, because uh, I, I saw it earlier today, too, and I was like, yo, if Elon buys that shit, I'm going to hop on Twitter more, because I do have a Twitter, but I, I've never really used it. I've hopped on, like, every once a year or some shit like that, so fucking Elon, buy that shit. I'll use it. Twitter all day. I mean, Elon all day, then Twitter all day. So, Manny, Elon Musk proposed a $43 billion buyout of Twitter. How do you feel about that? I think because it is good for the country... It is good for America. It's also good for Haiti. Yes. I'll give you that. So, Kareem, Elon Musk is thinking about buying Twitter for $43 billion. What are your thoughts on that? Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Twitter has nothing to do with me. Fuck everyone's opinion. Ever since they, ever since Twitter got rid of Donald Trump, fuck Twitter. I'll take that. I mean, if I'm Twitter, I'm not turning down $43 million, so I'd give it to him. And I think it would, be, it would be good. There's too many guidelines. You know, Twitter's supposed to be a place where, you know, sh shit happens. Deal with it. So, bitches. Yeah, bitches. And Elon, Elon's, Elon's with that shit, all right? He don't care. He does what he wants. That's who we need running Twitter. He sounds like the Portuguese godfather to me. Yeah, like a mix between the Portuguese godfather and, like, Tony Soprano. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess it's a pretty good investment for him, I guess. Uh, I wish him luck with it. I'm not really good with like uh like investing in stuff like I don't really like care about that stuff. <laughs> uh, considering how much money he has, I'm not surprised. It's just power plays. I mean, I feel like once you get to a certain net worth, you have to expect people to do stuff like this. It's just more money, more ways of accruing more money. Um, people are going to complain. People are going to be okay with it. I mean, it's going to happen regardless. When you have that much money on the table, people are going to take you seriously. So. We'll true, true, true. Big boss moves. Big boss moves. Mm -hmm. Next question. Do you think it'll be a good thing? I think maybe. I think maybe because he has a lot of like um like prospective than like than a lot of other people. Like he has he has like he sees things differently than a lot of people do. Um, I didn't think who the guy. What's the guy name that um owns it? What's the guy that names that owns it right now? I forgot his it's name. It's not Jack anymore. It's not Jack, Jack Dorsey, right? But it's not, yeah. I, I, think, I think it's like this guy named Parag or something oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, okay. So, like, I think he will have, like, a lot of different, like, um, ideas that will, like, you know, like, evolve, like, the whole Twitter game, like, than what it is to this day. So, I, th I think this might be a good thing. People will say probably just buying a lot of things like Monopoly, like how Facebook owns, you know, Instagram and Snap, you know, like, all these other things. So, you know, um, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a good thing. Yeah, he was saying. Uh, yeah, he was saying something's wrong with the uh, the structure of Twitter or something. Or the way it's um, the free speech policies. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that, and I feel like Elon would have a better structure for Twitter. And um, I've agreed with most of the things Elon said, aside from the trolling he's done. Most of the things he said is pretty on point. So yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, yeah I think so. But I heard that uh, like there's a bunch of people in the Twitter community are like, oh, if he gets the, his hands on Twitter, I'm never coming back to Twitter. I'm deleting the app. I'm deleting my account. Oh, no! Yeah. Shiver me timbers. Newsflash, dude. Nobody cares, you know? So I'm with Elon. Let's go, Elon. I think Elon would be a great fucking owner. I think he'd show everyone how social media should be ran. True, true. So you think it would be a positive thing in general? 
Yeah, I think so. I think Elon Musk is, has only done good things so far for this world, so I don't think he's going to fuck up with Twitter. It is good for America. It is good for the country. It is good for Haiti. Viva Haiti! Next question, do you think it would be a good thing if Elon Musk bought Twitter? Fuck Zuckerberg! That's, that's Facebook. And Twitter, and Snapchat, and Instagram. He owns them all. He doesn't own Twitter. Well then, fuck that guy. All right. Uh, I have no idea. I don't use Twitter, so I couldn't, I couldn't tell you the difference. Same, same. Like I said, I think some people are going to complain about it. Um, I feel like in the grand scheme of things, I don't think he's a terrible dude. And I don't think he's going to fucking turn into some fucking wasteland. Um, probably end up better than Facebook, but we'll see. Time will tell. True, true. And last question. Is Elon Musk the ultimate Sigma male? What's Sigma male? Wait, wait, before you go, define Sigma male for the audience. Uh, I would say it's someone who has created their own ethics and stringently follows it regardless of society's viewpoints. There you fucking go. Last question. Is Elon Musk the ultimate Sigma male? Yes. <laughs> All right. He is good for America. He's good for the country. He's good for Haiti. Couldn't agree more. I don't think he's an alpha male, but I think he's, I don't know, man. I, I don't think he's as well round. I think he's an, he's an alpha male geek. True. He's, a, he's, a, he's an alpha male of the geeks, of the smart, smart people, like, like kind of like intelligent kind of, you know? Ultimate Sigma male? Yeah. What does that mean? Someone who makes their own rules. Someone who doesn't go with the flow. Someone who does whatever they want. That guy is the flow, bro. He is the flow. Facts. All right. Peace. Bye. I mean, he has a lot of money, and I'm sure he knows a lot of beautiful women. I mean, I would want that. So, uh, I like women. Questionable. He's up there. Like, maybe not physically, but mentally. He'll put your mind in a pretzel, dude. And he's got more money than God. So, I wouldn't mess with him. I'm, I'm he is a rich motherfucker. He is. He owns Tesla, SpaceX. SpaceX. Yeah, I'm. I'm a big. I'm a big believer in Elon, dude. I like. I like hearing him talk. I like hearing him speak. He's. He's a genius. I look up to him. Sure thing, man. Bet. Thank you very much, John Rose. Yeah. Oh. Oh shit. That's going in the fucking video too. Cut it, man. Uh. <laughs>